Floating Timber Frame Pavilion. What had to happen for me to get involved with something like this? There's a lot that goes into floating structures. You may have, may or may not have been on a dock, but this itself has to be adjustable as water level rises and falls. That's gonna break things if it's not adjustable. That was something that was interesting. As well as the structure itself, I thought that once something in the water, it levels itself. But when you use logs as kind of the base, logs are fatter on one end. And so the way things eventually work out, you build it and when it's all done, you've got a little contraption that pushes foam underwater and you position it underneath the structure itself in the low spot. And you, you move that foam around until it finds a sweet spot and levels things up. That was something that I had no clue about, it was really fun. And one other surprise that got me on this was when we were cutting the logs off in the water when everything's built, that's when things stabilize and things that are long, you can trim. We had a huge chainsaw and cutting that, cutting that log off, I thought something was wrong with the chainsaw. Like it wouldn't hardly cut. But then figured out that you know, the water has extreme drag. And so that is something I learned about and have since learned that they use water when stopping like a water jet. Waters and marbles will provi provide an e effective backstop that doesn't break. Slate, steel, all these other things get eaten away by this jet water stream, but water has tremendous capabilities. And water itself, when you get out on this gazebo, has tremendous capabilities. It just feels so awesome. Fishermen go out and fish on the water. I think it's more for the nature than for the fish. The fish is kind of the excuse because water is just so cool. It just resonates. Maybe it resets things in our psyche and how we feel. And this pavilion is great. You've got water, you've got timbers, you've got comfortable place to sit, and you've got beautiful geometry to look at. Let's go take a look. Here we are at the gazebo itself, and one thing that you, you can see but you can't feel is the magnificence, the special properties of being on the water. That's not gonna be conveyed here in this video. But the structure itself, it is a tension ring truss. We've got a truss article you might wanna check out, but you'll notice there's nothing supporting the middle, and basically the corners are secured to each other in such a way that the pressure of the roof puts outward pressure on this tension ring and if it can't blow out nothing falls down and so that's what's going on here it creates a nice open energetic vibe inside and is used for structures like this and, and even up to really big commercial structures as well it's a, it's a known engineering tactic to create roofs and, and structures. The knee braces were a little bit challenging coming into an angle, angle post like this. The cut right here is angled up, something you wouldn't think about. And it was also challenging building this on the, on the water when things weren't level. We had to rely on using geometry, trigonometry to make sure that posts were at 90 because the level doesn't mean so much at that point. And really overall, just really fun. Out here working, <laughs> in danger of losing tools in the water. And it was just really a neat experience. I'd love to do it again sometime. If you want one, you know who to call. <laughs>